Now we will discuss an interview question. The question will be how will you use left shift okay and right shift bitwise operator and find if an integer n is odd or even. Of course you know we can find if an integer is odd or even by using modulo operator. So if n modulo 2 is equal to 0 then it is even else it is odd. Okay, but here the question is how will you use bitwise left shift and right shift operator and find if an integer is odd or even. So to understand that first let us discuss what is a left shift operator. For example 5. So when we divide by 2 the remainder is 1 quotient is 2 and again we divide remainder is 0 and quotient is 1 we stop. So we go in this direction and that is the bitwise representation. So when n is equal to 5 the bitwise representation is 1 0 1. Similarly for n is equal to 7 the bitwise representation is 1 1 1. So now let us see what happens when you use left shift operator. Okay, when you shift left, so you move in this direction and add a 0 in the end. So it is 1 0 1 0. For this it will be 1 1 1 0. So when you do a right shift, you move in this direction. So whatever the last bit is lost. So this becomes 101 and this becomes 111. But what happens when you do the reverse? You do right shift first. So when you do a right shift, it becomes 10 and here 11. And then you do a left shift. So when you do a left shift, 10 is added, 100. Zero, zero. And here it is 110. So what do we observe now? When we do a right shift and then we do a left shift, 101 becomes 100 and 111 becomes 110. Which means the last bit which is 1 is lost when we do a right shift and a left shift for odd numbers. Because here 5, 7 are odd numbers. So let us consider n is equal to 4. So what is the binary representation of 4? So we have 4. So you divide 2, 0. Again you divide 1, 0. So it is 1, 0, 0. So we do a right shift. So when you do a right shift it becomes 1, 0. And when we do a left shift again it becomes 1, 0, 0. So for even values we will get the even values again because there is no one in the end because odd values have one as the bit value in the least significant position okay so we have it here so when we do a right shift and then followed by a left shift we will not get the same number because here this is four and here it is six okay we will not get the same number. But for even integers, we will get the same numbers. So first we do a right shift and then we do a left shift. If the value is same, then it is even. The value is not same, then it is odd. Why the value will not be same? Because the last bit 1 will be lost in case of odd numbers. So this is how we can find if a given integer is odd or even by using left and right shift bitwise operators. First we do a right shift and then we do a left shift and we compare whether the values are same. If they are same then it is an even number, even integer. If they are not same then it is an odd integer. So let us write the code for this. So first we will accept the value of n. So now 
you are going to do a right shift and then left shift okay so let us say you are going to get a copy okay or you can do it in the same thing so first n you are going to right shift by one then that value you are going to left shift by one okay so this value you have to compare whether it is equal to n so if n is equal to that value if it is equal then it is even else it is odd okay else odd so now let us execute the program so we are going to give 15 it is odd let us give an even value 46 so it is even let us try with the negative value so it is minus 55 it is odd so let us give minus 652 so it is even so the program works fine thanks for watching